The classic rock community has just lost one of its giants. Hi, welcome to Classic Guitar Rock. I'm Jeremy. Uh, I just saw on David Coverdale's Facebook page that uh, famed rock and roll producer Martin Birch has passed away. This is what uh, Coverdale said. It is with a very heavy heart I've just had verified my very dear friend and producer Martin Birch has passed away. Martin was a huge part of my life, helping me from the, uh, helping me from the first time we met through until slided in my thoughts and prayers to his family, friends, and fans. I don't know if, if most of us as, you know, everyday fans realize the, the impact that producers have on the music that we hear. Um, I think it's safe to say that, <laughs> you know, I think producers are probably responsible for about 50% of what we hear and, and maybe more depending on the artists. Uh, they do so much behind the scenes and there are some producers that you just hear the drums and you know, oh, that's Mutt Lang, right? You hear the uh, backing vocals and you know that's uh, Roy Thomas Baker or you know that's Ted Templeman, right? They put such a signature on the way that they do things. Martin Birch, while I, I can't put on a Martin Birch album and tell you that's Martin Birch, which, which in a way, maybe that makes him even that much better, right? Is, is he uh, has managed to get the best out of so many bands over so many years. Um, and when you read the discography, it's unbelievable. Let me, I'm not going to read them all, but I just want you to, to look at uh, or listen to some of these albums. He produced the early Fleetwood Mac albums from uh, 69 to 73, five albums with Fleetwood Mac, uh, 11 albums with Deep Purple, 11 albums with Deep Purple, all the good ones, right? They're all in there uh, and the not so good, but he did all of those 11 albums with uh, Deep Purple, John Lord, when John Lord left, did some solo stuff, Martin Birch produced. Wishbone Ash. I was not aware that those were Martin Birch, but but like the uh, Argus album from 72, phenomenal album, Martin Birch. Rainbow. Uh, he did Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. He did the Rising album on stage, Long Live Rock and Roll and Final Vinyl. White Snake. Wow. He did everything from Snake Bite in 78. Uh, up through Slide It In in 1984 with several live and one-offs in there as well. He did my two favorite Sabbath albums. Well, I don't know if these are my... Two of my three or four favorite Sabbath albums, right? He did the Dio albums. Uh, he did Mob Rules and Heaven and Hell. And when I think of Martin Birch, the first band that comes to my mind is Iron Maiden. And he played very heavily into the success of Iron Maiden. He produced everything of theirs uh, beginning uh, with Killers up through Fear of the Dark, including live albums. Uh, he's also done work for, oh God, I mean, it's unbelievable, guys. The list is incredible. Jeff Beck, The Faces, um, Gary Moore. Uh, Roger Glover, Cozy Powell, Michael Shanker Group. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize it. My One of my favorite albums of all time is Assault Attack. That's Martin Birch. Uh, I, I didn't even, wasn't even thinking of that when I started uh, making this video. Just a phenomenal artist in his own right. And producers are artists. They don't get the credit they often deserve. And many of the classic albums that we all know and love are really the result of producers. And, and the job of a producer is bringing the best out of his art, artists. Sometimes, sometimes they're jumping in and playing an instrument. Sometimes they're hopping up and singing a part. It, it just really depends. But that's their job is to pull the best out of the artists. And when you look at the pedigree of Martin Birch, pretty impressive. Uh, Martin Birch was born on the 27th of December, 1948 in Woking, Surrey, England. And he started out as an audio engineer working with Jeff Beck, 
Fleetwood Mac and then and Deep Purple. That's kind of what what got him launched. But I know looking through this list, um, my life has been much better because of many of these albums that he played a key role in. So rest in peace, Martin Birch, and you've left a, a great legacy for all of us fans of classic rock music. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Classic Guitar Rock. Bye-bye.